In Matthew chapter 22, Jesus took his standard, his moral law, the Ten Commandments, and he boiled it down to just two. The first command was that we are to love God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, and all of our mind. That means that God ought to be the number one consideration in every thought, in every choice and decision that we make. The second commandment is that we are to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. We naturally care for ourselves and our needs. Do we love others in that same sort of way? You might think about this summation and say, you know what, I've done okay at that. But then we go to James chapter 2 and verse 10 and we're hit with a sobering and a serious truth. Because the Bible tells us that whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. And initially, you might be offended by that statement. How could God, when I'm trying to do the best I can, how could he say that I could get all the way, I could get 99% and just miss that 1% and I'd be guilty of the whole thing? How could God say that? But when we understand that God's law is not a to-do list, God's law is not a way for us to earn points for good behavior. God's law is a representation for us. God's law shows us how righteous he is and how sinful we are. It's not meant for us to try to measure up and be good. Rather, it is a mirror to show us how bad we really are. We understand when we take a good look at God's law that I cannot meet with God's standard on my own. I need help. I remember the time when this truth became personal in my life, that I could not keep God's standard on my own. I needed help. And through seeking God and through seeking the answers in God's word, I found the answer, the answer that God has provided so that we could be right with him.